an adventure like no other. Grab your thinking caps and get ready for the etiquette escape room. Have you ever found yourself in a social situation unsure of how to act? Hmm? Well, today's your chance to test your etiquette skills and see if you can survive the ultimate etiquette challenge. Imagine this. You're locked in a room and the only way out is to solve a series of etiquette-related puzzles. Sounds like a nightmare, right? But don't worry, I'll be there to guide you through every step of the way. Here's how it works. I'll present you with a social scenario and you'll have to choose the most polite and appropriate response. Get it right and you'll move on to the next challenge get it wrong and you might just find yourself in a sticky situation let's start with something simple Chalana, dining etiquette you're at a formal dinner and you're unsure which fork to use for the first course the forks are arranged on a table but you're not sure which one is for which dish what do you do a use the fork that looks most suitable B. Ask the host or the person sitting next to you which fork to use. C. Wait and observe which fork others are using for the first course. The correct answer is C. Wait and observe which fork others are using for the first course. By observing others, you can follow their lead and use the correct fork without drawing attention to your uncertainty. Excellent work. Now, let's move on to the next challenge. Challenge 2. Conversation Skills You're at a networking event and you find yourself in conversation with someone you just met. What's the best way to keep the conversation flowing? A. Talk about yourself and your accomplishments. B. Ask open-ended questions and show genuine interest in the other person. C. Bring up controversial topics like politics or religion. The correct answer is B. Ask open-ended questions and show genuine interest in the other person. Active listening is a key to building meaningful connections. Well done. Challenge 3. Business meeting. You are at a business meeting. How should you use your phone? A. Keep it on the table and check it frequently. B. Put it on silent mode and only check it during breaks. C. Turn it off completely. Answer B. Putting your phone on silent mode and checking it only during breaks is respectful. Challenge 4. The overly casual attitude at work. You have accidentally worn casual attire to an important meeting where everyone else is formally dressed. What's the best way to recover? A. Apologize for your attire at the beginning of the meeting and focus on your contributions. B. Ignore the attire issue and proceed as if nothing is wrong. C. Make a joke about being underdressed to lighten the mood. The correct answer is A. Apologize for your attire at the beginning of the meeting and focus on your contributions. Acknowledging the mistake shows professionalism while shifting focus to the content of the meeting demonstrates competence. Challenge 5. The unexpected home guest quandary. A friend shows up at your home unexpectedly and seems to want to stay for a long time. You have other plans for the day. What should you do? A. Cancel your plans and entertain your friend. B. Politely tell them you have other commitments and suggest rescheduling. C. Hint that you have plans by mentioning how busy you are, hoping they'll leave. The 
correct answer is B. Politely tell them you have other commitments and suggest rescheduling. This is direct yet respectful of both your time and your friendship. Challenge 6. Interrupting someone. You're in a group discussion and someone keeps interrupting others. What should you do? A. Ignore it and let them continue. B. Politely say let's give everyone a chance to speak. C. Interrupt them back. The answer is B. Politely say let's give everyone a chance to speak. This encourages a respectful dialogue. Challenge 7. Social Media Etiquette You get a colleague post about a promotion on social media. You want to congratulate them but are unsure how. What do you do? A. Comment publicly on the post. B. Send them a private message. C. Ignore it. It's not your business. Answer. A. Comment publicly on the post. It's a nice way to show support and celebrate their success. Challenge 8. Active listening. You're at a social event and someone tells you a personal story. What should you do? A. Interrupt the speaker with your own story. B. Listen attentively and show empathy. C. Change the subject. The answer is B. Listening attentively and showing empathy is important when someone is sharing a personal story. Challenge 9. The Greeting Order You walk into a room where there's an elder, your friend, and a child. Who should you greet first? A. Your friend since they're the closest in age. B. The elder out of respect. C. The child because it's polite to acknowledge everyone. The correct answer is B. The elder out of respect. For instance, in Nigerian culture, it's customary to greet elders first. Challenge 10. The queue jumping temptation. You're in a long queue at the bank when a friend who is further ahead invites you to join them. What should you do? A. Join your friend on a queue. No one will notice. B. Publicly decline and wait your turn. C. Accept but only if the queue isn't too long. The correct answer is B. Politely decline and wait your turn. Jumping cues is unfair to others who have been waiting longer. Challenge 11. Attending a wedding alone. You're attending a wedding alone and the couple asks you to sit at the singles table. How do you respond? A. Politely decline and insist on sitting with your friends. B. Graciously accept and use it as an opportunity to meet new people. C. Make a scene and demand to sit with your friends. The answer is B. Graciously accept and use it as an opportunity to meet new people. Attending a wedding alone can be uncomfortable, but being adaptable and open-minded can lead to positive experiences. Challenge 12. Handling a rude waiter You receive poor service at a restaurant and the waiter is rude. How do you address this? A. Leave a bad review and complain to the manager. B. Calmly speak to the manager and request a different server. C. Yell at the waiter and demand a refund. The 
answer is B. Calmly speak to the manager and request a different server. And now for the bonus challenge, the excessive praise predicament. Your boss praises you excessively in front of your colleagues for work you know was a team effort. How should you respond? A. Accept the praise without mentioning the team's contributions. B. Publicly acknowledge the praise but emphasize the team's role in the success. C. Deflect the praise and remain humble, not mentioning anyone else. The correct answer is B. Publicly acknowledge the praise but emphasize the team's role in the success. This shows humility and respect for your colleagues' contributions. How did you do? Did you get all the questions right? Are you able to escape from the etiquette dilemma room? Well done everyone! You've proven that you have what it takes to navigate even the trickiest social situations with grace and style. Remember, etiquette is all about being considerate of others and making them feel comfortable. Keep practicing and you'll be a pro in no time. Till I see you next video, keep those pinkies up and your manners sharp. See you next video. Goodbye.